In this video, I will show you how to create uh, 3D shingles on existing roofs. First, we have to create some roof object. Um, best way is to create it with uh, our, our roofing tools, but you can use any other method. Uh, important is to create a valid roof object based uh, from polygons. So first, uh, we have to select the roof object, and then we can apply shingles tool. By clicking into viewport, uh, uh, roof, roof is updated with uh, new shingles. And we can see that we have some presets here for this tool, so we can switch between existing presets and uh, roof is updated with a new shingle set. So basically we can see the usage of the tool is very uh, very easy. Just create a valid roof and apply shingle tool with a uh, with, uh, preset we want. And shingles are created automatically. For adding more presets and more shingles uh, into this tool, we need to understand uh, this tool completely. So now I will try to go through the numeric panel settings very briefly. First preset section is for management of preset files. We can list between existing presets, uh, we can save or delete preset files and we can create uh, folders for storing uh, the presets. Next is a shingle list section. Here in this section we have a list of all shingles which are used in current preset. So all the shingles, shingles which are placed on the roof. We can add and remove those shingles here in this section. In the next, next section, shape library section, we can browse through the library and see each individual shingle. And next parameters section, here we have values uh, which defines how, how shingles uh, uh, are placed on the roof. So all dimensions or positions for, for, for each type of shingle. So when we save current preset, we are saving these, all these values from preset parameters section and list of all shingles used. On this picture, you can see all the shingle types we can use with this tool. First shingle, regular shingle. This is minimum shingle we need to use. We need to use at least this shingle in, in, in the tool. Uh, the other shingle types are optional. So for slopes we can use a slope shingle. Also we can add also special slope end shingle. On the top we can place top shingles with a start and end modification for nice ending. And we can use also connect shingle to to make a, a nice uh, connection between top and slopes. And um, for uh, right and left end on the roof, we can use uh, two variants of special shingles. First is left right modification of a basic shingle or left right modification of barge shingle. We, need, we, we can use one or second version, not all, not, not both. Uh, difference between barge and uh, left-right shingle um, is that uh, left-right shingle is uh, de facto regular shingle, just a little bit modified on the left or right uh, side, but it fits with regular shingle. Uh, barge shingle doesn't fit with regular shingle, uh, it overlaps. And now back to the parameters. Probably the uh, fastest way how to understand these parameters uh, is to play with each parameter and you can see uh, how it reacts on the roof. First, allow scaling parameter. This parameter, when disabled, then uh, each shingle is precisely the same dimension as it is stored in library. When we enable scaling, then uh, Shingles can be a little bit stretched to fit the roof uh, uh, uniformly. So this is not realistic, but a much better visual effect. 
next parameters for x and y axis x axis means uh, from the left to right or right to left on the roof y axis means from up to down on the roof so when I change overlay x to 0 shingles are not overlying from left to right to from right to left if I set negative value there will be gap gaps between shingles so back to value 2 same for a uh, y axis uh, so when I set zero value there is no overlay uh, from up to down with negative value we can see gaps between shingles overhanging over the uh, axis uh, x if I set bigger overhang let's say 20 we can see now nice overhanging over the roof edge if I set zero overhang on the shingles will be lying on the edge of the roof same for axis y if we set much bigger overhang parameter now shingles are overhanging down from the roof last is a, a drift x parameter uh, I will switch to Vienna preset here it is more visible Vienna preset ha has a default 50% drift if we set 0% drift we can see what does it mean so shingles are drifted each row is drifted uh, by this value so we can change it and set this drift next three parameters are for top shingles overlay uh, if I said negative value uh, there, there are some gaps between uh, top shingles with zero no gaps between shingles uh, overhang same as previous if I said 10 value now top shingle over, overlapping over the roof and uh, last parameter for top shingle is offset with this parameter we can uplift the top shingles uh, on the roof so we can adjust this value how how top shingles will be lying on the roof we can see uh, that uh, this this offset parameter is same also for uh, uh, connect connector of shingles and the next two parameters are for slope shingles overlay and offset so when we set negative overlay we can see gaps between slope shingles it is zero no gaps between shingles no overlay between shingles and with some value uh, slope shingles will be overlying overlapped each other and offset uh, same as stop shingle so we can adjust how a slope shingles will be offset from the roof next are bar shingle parameters I'll show you uh, these on Vienna preset where we have some bar shingles and here when we change the overlay parameter it behaves same as previous parameters so overlying a uh, batch from up to down overhang parameter with this parameter we can change how bar shingle will be overlapping over the roof edge and last one offset o with offset parameter we can adjust the position from the roof so with these three parameters we can easily position the bar shingle uh, on the place we need and the last parameter will be inner offset inner offset is offset on uh, the inner edges of the roof so when we set value to 10 
we can see we will do some offset on the shingles on these edges. So as you can see with all these parameters and uh, all the shingle types uh, which uh, uh, this tool can use, uh, shingle tool is very complete solution for creating shingled roof for 3D Studio Max.